Why is it still showing me? Report. I need to report to Paladin Dance, but I can't. Oh, it's so bugged. Why is it so bugged? Hey. What do you want? Yes. Your thoughts? Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. Didn't have anything else. Affirmative. Okay. You know what? Throw up duty. Let's go. Out. Gotta clean the Mirelux scat off my boots. You fry up a hunk of gram with a little Nuka Cola. It almost tastes like food. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Uh... Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well, yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Okay. Can I take that? Oh, I can take that! Oh, oh, hell yeah. What else can I loot from you? Uh... Stim pack. Take that buff out. Radix, I don't really need Radix. I got enough of those. Uh, wait, I see I see something I can read. I could... Medical report. Knight Captain Cade reported. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Good Institute to see you is again, the most Knight. technologically Anything I can do to help. enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore exceedingly dangerous. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. Interesting. Okay, I'm hungry and thirsty. I don't have any. I do have Aquapura. Do 
do I? I don't have anything to drink. Proctor? Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Books. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies, medical research. Anything that enhances the Brotherhood's knowledge. That's why I consider everything else a waste of paper. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. There are other scribes within the Brotherhood that consider fictional material essential. But I refuse to allow them aboard this vessel. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance. Saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Okay. Damn it, Scribe. I told you I didn't want the corners bent. The issues were to be in mint condition. I'm sorry, Proctor, but this is the only limited edition annual we've recovered. Even before the bombs fell, this was the rarest issue. The one where Grognak dies and comes back to life? Yes, Scribe. I've read the 2076 Underlain Price Guide from cover to cover, so I'm well aware of its past value. The fault for this travesty rests squarely on your shoulders because you chose to ignore the important yeah. lesson I taught you. Nothing. Which I is... Ten ago. Can't fix it. I can't fix Always it. back and board. I'm sorry, sir. Back. You're absolutely you right. And I promise it will never... Um... Sir, there what's is. that red blinking light on your terminal? Thanks, brother. I what? You. Oh, damn it all. I left it in record mode. Just let me... So, Hello. You're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. I can handle myself. Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. You just don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see... I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. 
You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? If we're going to be working as a team, we should get to know each other better. Well, you want to have sex? With that. I was fighting with the Brotherhood in the Capital Wasteland. Worked at a staging area for the Power Armor troops. Our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a hundred foot drop, give or take. You weren't aboard the Pridwin? Uh, the Pridwin wasn't under Maxon's command at the time. It wasn't even in the Capital Wasteland. If she'd had been there, the battle wouldn't have been such a challenge. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke. Sheared most of the cliff right off, and caused the platform I was standing on to tumble over the side. If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. Your power armor helped you survive the fall? Yeah, it took the brunt of the impact. But I don't know if I'd call it surviving. The suit was trashed after it landed, and I lost both of my legs. Haven't walked since. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Can you believe synths are replacing humans with exact duplicates? She doesn't have... <gasps> she doesn't have legs. Oh, that's cool. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now, this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Okay. Okay. Let's Deegan might have what you need. 